Hey, Aquarius, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so let's see what is going on for you in the month of January. For those of you who have birthdays towards the end of this month, I just want to say happy birthday. One of my best friends is an Aquarius, so I absolutely love and adore her. I'm actually flying her out next month for her birthday to come see me, so I'm excited. Um, but let's see what's going on, guys. All right. What is going on with the lovely sign of Aquarius? Past, present, and future. What is happening with the sign of Aquarius? All right, guys. So let's see how January has been going for you and how it will continue to go, you know, a little bit after January. All right. Okay. So the energy that you guys have is the Ten of Wands in reverse. So there's something that has been burdening for you, but you're finding a way to release that. And with the Six of Cups in reverse, this is either going to be you guys reconciling with someone from the past or deciding that you may need to part ways with someone from the past and just leave them in the past. But with the Seven of Cups in reverse, there's a decision or clarity that you're coming to or seeing but you still have unfinished business with someone or a situation, maybe, you know, family member, something that could be conflicting. So let's see what's going on. So the first card that you guys have for the past, the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is a card about worrying, you know, being in your head. Everything's just really mental here. Thinking about things that probably aren't even happening, but it's just our minds get the best of us sometimes. And we have the Five of Cups in the reverse where if there's any sense of sadness or any sense of loss, you know, this was something that you did start to get over. It did start to subside, yet you were still in your head a lot. Possibly about, you know, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that wasn't talking to you or someone that you decided to talk uh, to stop talking to. What the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, you know, this could be a situation where you have been trying to get something off the ground, whether it be a relationship, a project, um, maybe a move, but... Either you gave up on it and you stopped putting effort towards it, or you couldn't, uh, you know, it's like you kept working towards it, but you couldn't find a way to make it happen. So, you know, with the Nine of Cups in the reverse, that could have been something that definitely, you know, left you guys a bit unhappy, a bit dissatisfied, but still feeling like you have to finish this thing, or still feeling like you have some sort of attachment here, you know, with the World card in the reverse. Okay, and we have the Page of Swords here. So this is your energy, and you guys, you know, if there's any sense of dissatisfaction, you're not having any problem letting people know what's on your mind, you know, uh, how you want to move forward with this, how you're feeling about this, okay, what you expect from this. And again, we keep having this earth energy pop up, so it could have been with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, but the King of Pentacles is somebody who is very dependable, very good with money, you know, this is someone who could be a leader, someone who's typically very kind, very patient. And with the Two of Swords in the verse, there's a decision that you guys came to in reference to this King of Pentacles. And it could be to walk away from this, all right? So with the Six of Swords, there's something that you guys moved away from in the past, something that you were emotionally invested in that was a little bit tough for you, okay? Maybe you felt like you'd have to do this in order to, you know, gain money or to just stabilize yourself in a very uh, realistic way. Okay, for others of you, maybe you moved overseas or uh, you moved away to have a job that was really going to stabilize you, all right? But the energy we have here is the page of wands in the verse, so there's a sense of someone or something getting cut off here in the past. Now, in the present moment, guys, you have the tower card in the verse. So with the tower card in the verse, there is going to be some sort of catastrophe in essence that you guys are avoiding. So let's see what's going on. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So you guys really do have a heavy earth energy in your reading this month. So with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, this is someone who has invested a lot of time, a lot of energy into something, and it didn't work out their way. So at this point, this is someone who could be very stubborn, maybe acting immature, but it's because they feel that they've been pushed to a certain place. So it could be a, an earth sign that you're dealing with, or maybe someone has pushed you, uh, you know, to be this way. But you guys are doing your best to be strong throughout this. You know, to get through this in a good way. But you really feel a sense of imbalance with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. 
Now, in the present moment, I see something that you guys either are not going to accept, an offer that you're not going to accept, or something that you offer to someone else that's not accepted. And we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. So you're not accepting this or they are not accepting this because there's conflict here that people want to avoid. All right, and we have the King of Wands in the reverse. So there could definitely be someone here who's, you know, uh, being very promiscuous, someone that feels that they have authority over you or maybe you feel you have authority over somebody. Um, but someone who comes off as very powerful, loving, passionate, but it's like they're they're using that passion, you know, in an unstable way, per se. And the last card that we have here is the High Priestess in the reverse, and this is still for the present moment. So, you know, off back, guys, there's something here that you're seeing the situation for what it is, okay? You're clearly seeing it, uh, seeing it for what it is, but you're turning a blind eye to it, all right? There's something in your gut telling you that something is wrong. You know, there's something in your mind that's telling you, you know, maybe I should look this over again. And it's like that gut feeling is so strong, yet you don't want to admit what you're feeling, maybe, okay? Anytime we don't follow, you know, our soul's purpose or something that's really nagging at us, that's when we tend to find things that make us unhappy because we're ignoring things that our body is just trying to tell us. All right. And we have the four of swords where you guys are really putting a lot of thought into something. Uh, it's, it's not that you're not moving forward, but you're at a standstill, at least in your mind, because you're trying to figure out, you know, what's the best and most strategic way and the most you know, the way that makes the most sense for me to move forward with the situation. All right, because there's someone here that you guys feel closely connected to or a job here that you feel closely connected to. So this could be, uh, you know, a lover, a friend, a family member. It could be a job that, you know, uh, is doing a lot of good for you, but you're kind of in a sense of limbo. There's things that you're trying to kind of just turn your eye to. But there's a new start that's coming in here. All right, so we do have the Ace of Wands here where there's something new coming in, but maybe you guys aren't sure if you want to move forward to this new start, okay? But definitely a new start here that's being presented to you guys that you'd be able to release a burden that you're feeling, okay? So moving forward into the future, guys, the first card that you have is a Page of Cups in the reverse. So this is going to be a situation where either, you know, someone may be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or just any sign at all. Someone may stop talking to you in a romantic or passionate or, you know, loving way, or maybe you stop talking to them in that way. Or this could be a situation where someone is talking to you in that way or vice versa. But when it comes to actually committing to what is being said, it's not going to happen. All right. This is someone who's not you're ready to emotionally invest themselves into something or, you know, whatever new project you're looking to get into. Maybe you or someone else is a bit hesitant about jumping into it. All right, now with the Six of Cups in the reverse, I really feel like you guys are going to try to amicably, you know, just part ways with someone from the past, or leave them in the past, rather. And we have the King of Cups in the reverse. So we keep getting these cards of instability and promiscuity. All right, so this is someone that is extremely charming, a very, very good talker, but they're doing their thing, okay? They're definitely doing their thing, and at this point, you're tired, you're exhausted, you know, you've been going so far, so it's at that point where, you know, is there going to be a breakthrough? Am I going to be able to get through this? Now, with the Nine of Wands, I always say this, that, you know, the number 10 is the number of completion in the tarot deck. So with nine, you guys are right there. You're right at the place of a breakthrough. But what is that breakthrough going to be for you? Are you going to leave the situation behind because it's so exhausting? Or are you going to find a way to make it work? Okay. We have the Six of Wands in the reverse. So this may be a situation here that you feel like you're not going to have a victory. You feel like something may not come in, and you just want to release the burden at this point, okay? It's something that you just don't want to um, keep enduring anymore, okay? We have the justice card in the verse, so someone is really being dishonest, guys, all right? There's secrets here, and I feel like these secrets, if they're not coming out, you strongly feel it within yourself, which is why you stop putting effort into this, all right? You guys may be in a place where you feel like you can be very, very happy, but under what pretense? All right? With the Emperor in the reverse, it's someone that is going to be, you know, very 
they have authority over you in a sense, or you have authority over this person, but they're not being completely honest with their intention. They're not letting you know what's up their sleeve. So it's someone who they're going to manipulate a situation to benefit them. Okay. And if they feel they have power over you, they have no problem manipulating you to do that. And the emperor, because it's someone who you, uh, who's so wise and they're usually older. It doesn't have to be someone who's older, you know, in, in this reading, but it's someone that because they've been through so much, they can be a little bit stubborn. It's like, I've been through a lot. I know how to handle this and this is the best way to do it. And you can't tell them shit. So it's definitely something that could be problematic for you to cause you guys to walk away here. All right. To turn your back. Let's see why this eight of cups is here. Yeah, two of wands in the verse. So someone here is feeling lost. Someone here is feeling like they don't know how to move forward, what path to take. All right, and there's information that comes out here where you start to lose faith in the situation. Someone's got to go, guys, or a situation that has to go. A lot of conflict, a lot of struggle. Okay, I don't want to leave this off, you know, on such a morbid note, so... Aside from the oracle card that I'm going to pull for you guys to give you advice, I'm going to pull three cards of advice on just how uh, you guys could look at the situation, okay? All right. Give me three cards of advice for the sign of Aquarius for the month of January 2018. Get one more card, bam. All right, guys. So listen, I'm gonna be real with y'all, and you know, I I suck at sugar coating. Okay, that's something I gotta work on, but it's not something I want to work on. So let, let's just look at this for what it is. You know, for those of you that this is going to resonate with. So the cards are talking about stability and moving forward from a place where. You may have felt stuck or you may have just been kind of stagnant and sitting there to see what's going to happen. All right. We have the four of wands here, which is a card about building a foundation, being stable. We have the six of pentacles here, which is a card about, you know, finding stability. OK, having equal give and take in a situation, um, having reciprocation, too. If I give you this then I expect the same from you. OK. And with the hermit card in the verse, someone who could be in their shell, who is just not tending to a situation the way that it needs to be tended to and moving themselves out of that situation. So it's saying that you guys may have to guard yourself from this, okay? Because there's something that you may be wanting that may not come in for you the way that you want it to. Something that you're waiting for that, you know, may be a waste of effort to even wait on it, okay? With the um, three of wands in the verse. So with the two of pentacles, it says, you know, that you guys should drop this act with whoever, whatever it is that you're dealing with. Because to continue talking to this person, to keep, um, you know, putting an effort into whatever situation this is, there could be heartbreak here. All right. Now, let's go a step further. I'm going to give you guys an oracle card. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. So the same um, oracle cards as every month, guys. Earth uh, Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. Okay, so let's see what's going on. What advice does the sign of Aquarius need to hear for the month of January? All right, that was quick, guys. You guys caught the card Radiance, okay, Summer Solstice. All right. Let the radiance of the sun inspire your inner radiance to shine forth. Release your concerns about what may happen in the future and focus on appreciating everything you have that is good and right. Allow father, uh, father son to take away your worries and cares. Do something physically active to stimulate your inner light. Dance, sing, but most important, get outdoors. Do not let any negative thoughts or habits stop you. When you are in love with life, you naturally radiate that love. 
During this part of your cycle, your capacity to love is greatly amplified. And one of those supreme ironies of life, the more love you give, the more returns to you. It starts by allowing the radiant being that you truly are to be expressed into the world. Smile a little more. Notice the beauty of nature. See the humor and the paradoxes of life. Show your love, especially to those with whom you are closest. Then smile even more and watch how the world around you lights up. Okay, so guys, just with you guys pulling this card, the, the first thing I initially thought is maybe we're going about this the wrong way. Okay, you know, lately I've been in a situation and, and I feel like it applies to this. This is why I'm going to mention it. I've been in a situation where I've been taking more time to self-reflect because there have been certain people in my life and certain circumstances in my life that just don't sit well with me. I, I literally have people that they come over and... You know, after they leave my house, I just feel like shit for days. Like, that's how heavy their energy is, and I just I, I absorb their energy. I know they leave feeling better, but they leave me with this, you know, with this dragged emotion. So this might be a place where it's like, okay, what am I doing to attract these certain energies in my life? What am I doing to attract certain actions into my life? And it might be something as simple as forgetting to put yourself first. OK, if there's certain signs that you're seeing, if there's certain feelings that you're getting that aren't right, you know, your gut's telling you, OK, something's off and you're not listening to that. That's a big thing. That's usually what causes unhappiness. You know, that disconnect that you have within yourself, that disconnect that you have to source, because when we're honest with ourselves and when we go down a path where we truly feel, you know, whole, we truly feel happy, we truly feel good. Those sort of things tend to come into our lives. So this is the sort of thing where you guys have to ask yourself, because it seemed like there was a lot going on in this spread, you know, a lot of promiscuity, if this is, you know, uh, pertaining to love for a lot of you, uh, for work, maybe there's just a lot of instability. So ask yourself, have you been more unstable lately? Have you been doing certain things? And that just to put it on you guys, because I know that for a lot of you, this could be something that's extremely painful. I said, I didn't do anything. I get that. You know, um, so I can get that a lot of you would say that to me, you know, said this has nothing to do with me. And I'm, I understand that. But if it's a situation that you feel things have been happening over and over and over again, you know, the first time, the second time, maybe even the third time, we could blame another person for things that happen in our lives. But after that, you know, if we know it's something that's going to continue to happen and we choose to still be there, whether it be a job or project, you know, family, uh, whatever, then we have to take a little bit of responsibility. So you have to ask yourself, are you being true to who you are or are you, you know, compromising your happiness to be somewhere that you may be scared to leave? OK, are you expressing what it is that you want to this job, to this person? Have you told them how you truly feel? And if you have told them, you know, this is how I feel and they continue to do certain things, then at that point, that's just disrespectful. That's someone that's just not seeing things the way that you are. And, you know, most of you, I mean, I look at the stats of you people who watch me. So most of you are, you know, 18 and over. So we're adults now. So it gets to this point where if you have your own house, your own car, or just your own way of being, and you don't really have anyone else telling you what to do, we have to take responsibility for who we're around. We choose who we eat with. We choose who we go out with. We choose who we, you know, sleep next to. We choose all of these things. And if it's not something that's fulfilling us, that's going to say a lot. You know, why allow certain things into your life if it's going to make you feel this way? Now, I see that you guys, you know, for some of you, you're going to be walking away from this. Okay? So, ask yourself, the situation that I'm walking away from didn't make me the best me. Because I feel like with, even with jobs, because a lot of people think, oh, you know, that's a 9 to 5. Like, it's, it's going to help me get food on the table. There's so many jobs that we can have. You know, we have so much control over our lives and where we work and what we do and who we talk to. So if it's taken away from who you are, then action needs to be made. And ask yourself how far, you know, how deep have I gotten into this that I forgot my own value, that I forgot my own worth. And I feel like at the end of this, you guys are finding that worth. Not saying that, you know, some of you don't value yourselves at all. You know, I don't want to come off that way at all. But you have to, you know, put yourself in a place where I need to move forward if you're not giving me what I need. OK, so definitely a lot to think about, guys. Think about what this is and think about if it's worth, you know, the heartache that it might bring you or the disappointment that it might bring you. 
And if you feel like life has just spiraled to a place where you don't even realize or understand who you are as a person anymore, then that's, you know, that's telling you you got to take a step back. And I, I think that's always the healthiest thing to do, you know. And just with our generation and just with, you know, how life is right now, we're so quick to find a distraction because, you know, quiet and silence could be so uncomfortable. But if you feel like everything's just out of your control, ask yourself, what can I control? And what you can control is yourself. So do what you need to do. Meditate, do yoga, go running, whatever you feel like is going to put you in a better mindset. Uh, for me personally, it was fitness. Okay, so when I was in a place where I felt that I completely lost everything and I lost who I was and I was no longer the powerful person I knew that I could be, I immersed myself into working out. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys. The first, you know, month, I'd be on the treadmill, the elliptical, whatever it is, and I'd be crying. You know, lucky for me, I had the comfort of having a gym in my home. So, you know, I'm not at the gym just sobbing on the treadmill. But there's so much that I was able to release. And it kind of just brought me back to who I am. So going back to this card of radiance, you know, what is it that makes you feel good about yourself? I think that this is definitely going to be a good month where you guys need to just do something that you love. Is that dance? Is that, you know, karate? Is that horseback riding? Is that going for hikes? When's the last time you did something that you love? When's the last time that you stopped putting all this energy into this person where you're forgetting who you are? Okay. Now, there's a lot of things that are going to happen in life, and there's a lot of uh, situations that could happen in relationships or jobs, whatever. But it shouldn't be to the extent that it drains you more, that, you know, more than it feeds you. So keep that in mind. Is it draining you more than it's feeding you? And if it's draining you more, then why exactly is it that you feel that you need it in your life? Okay? Just something to self-reflect on. And, you know, I've been telling a few people this, and something that was super powerful for me that, you know, I did uh, about a year or two back. I did a guided meditation on meeting my future self, okay? So it's something very deep. I really suggest just being in a quiet room where no one's going to bother you, you know, put your headphones in and meet that person. And it's a it's an insane experience. You know, the, the guided video, it literally walks you through it. And there's a lot on YouTube, so you guys can choose, you know, whichever one that you want. But that moment where you turn the corner and you see yourself in the future, I personally, I just, I broke down in tears because she was so beautiful and she was so powerful and she had everything going for her and I was nothing like her. And I looked at her with so much envy and I'm like, you know, what do I need to do to be you and focus on that? Where do you want to be and how far did you get, you know, sidetracked? Is this the path that you want to be on? Is this what you truly wanted to do? Was this the job that you always dreamed of doing when you were a child? You know, go back to that. And that's another thing, too. Go back to your innocence, too. Um, when you were, you know, before anything could hurt you, what was it that you aspired to do in life? What was it that you expected of yourself? If you had to talk to your younger self now, now going back, if you had to talk to your younger self, are they going to be happy? Or are they going to be like, holy shit, what happened? Okay, we have to get back to the basics. We got... We have to get back to us, all right? So I really pray and I hope that you guys are finding, you know, whatever it is that you need. But there's definitely some adjusting, uh, adjusting that needs to be made. I love you guys so much. Um, I'm going to leave you at this because obviously I can't talk anymore. But um, if you guys do want your own personal reading, I'm more than happy to help you. I did add uh, the monthly reading because I know you guys like the format of it. So the way I do it with just pulling cards, you know, and then doing the Oracle card and just a little pep talk at the end, you know, I can definitely do that for you guys. So all of my information and all of the payment methods, all of that is in the description. OK, anything you guys need, I'm here. Aquarius, I love you. And for those, again, that happy birthday at the end of this month. Happy birthday. Take care, guys.